Church. I want to go now to Abraham Bollinger. He joins us by Skype this morning. He's the pastor of the First Fruits Community Church, which is just outside of Charleston in the town of Somerville. Pastor, thank you for being with us. First, your reaction to the massacre at Emanuel AME last night. Good morning, Stephanie, and thank you for this opportunity. Yes, last night um, we were very shocked and, uh, to hear about the tragedy of the shooting that took place last evening. Uh, Mother Emanuel Church is such an influential church, and uh, Senator Pinckney, the loss of that senator is just a great loss to the community, along with all of the others uh, that we lost as well. So it, it touched dear to everyone's hearts, especially in the city of Charleston, but all the way even up here to Somerville. Give us a sense of the importance of this church and the fabric of Charleston. I just went into some of the history, uh, but this represents a great deal, this church, to the African-American community there in Charleston. You're absolutely right, Stephanie. This church is the foundation to uh, the African-American church uh, right there in the heart of Charleston. I mean, uh, there's countless of uh, things that this uh, congregation has done um, to really impact the peace of the city. Um, I mean, speaking of Martin Luther King Jr., just his presence there and his speeches uh, has reverberated through the actions of this church, even up to this day. And recently, during the Walter Scott incident, uh, Pastor Pinckney actually held many vigils at his church to bring peace and stability across denominations and across racial barriers. So huge, important church. Yeah, Walter Scott, an African-American killed by a North Charleston police officer who has been indicted in his death. How have race relations been in the city of Charleston since that shooting? Uh, we have diligently across all barriers, we've worked together to really come together in unity and in peace uh, to fight the injustice and, and, and the racial discrimination. I believe in my heart, along with many others, that we've made progress. And at the same time, you know, there's still a lot of progress to make. Um, but we are diligently working together across all types of barriers. I mean, we, there's a new youth group that just launched called Christ Epidemic, who has brought hundreds of young people together to, to break down these racial barriers as well. So I think we've made a lot of progress. And in spite of the tragedy last night, I believe that we'll together work in peace to overcome this and, and ensure that justice is served. Tell us more about what you know about uh, Pastor Clementa Pickney. Like you said, he held vigils trying to bring the races together after the Walter Scott killing. What else can you tell us about him? Sure, Pastor Pickney is a man that really influenced all walks of life. He was able to bring people together um, at a grassroots level, and at the same time, in his political status and position he held in the state and in the government, he was able to really bring all parties together. So I think uh, his legacy really speaks for himself. His work speaks for himself. And um, he's just a great man, and, and it's such a tragic loss. I know some of his family personally, and uh, we're just really praying for those family members uh, and all the family members who suffered loss. But he has done so many great things for yeah. the city as well. Yeah, he's been a legislator in that state since his early 20s. Pastor yeah. Abraham Bollinger, thanks for joining us this morning. And this is a story we will continue to follow on Al Jazeera America. Thank you very much. This morning.